what's up guys, I'm Shivanka from TechRun's Gadgets and we all use Android phones every day. But there are certain features in Android that many people don't know about. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about 8 hidden features that every Android Pi user should know. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First up is improved performance by changing animation scale. For people using phones with low RAM, and slow user interface can vastly improve the device performance by changing the animation scale. To change animation scale, go to your developer options, then scroll down to Windows animation scale. Now here you'll find three options, Windows animation scale, transition animation scale and animated duration scale. Now you can change this animation scale from 1.5 or whatever your default is to 0.5x. Again this one and now you'll see that your phone will feel much more responsive and much faster. You can easily improve your device performance by just simply changing the settings. It's very useful. Next up is System UI Tuner. Many of you know there's a System UI Tuner in every Android phone that contains experimental features baked in. Now, Sadly, this system UI tuner is hidden in most ROMs. To enable system UI tuner, just download this app from the Play Store. You just need to give it some permissions using Android Debug Bitch, that is ADB. I'll link the process in the description below and you're good to go. For example, using system UI tuner, you can toggle status bar icons, you can use system UI demo mode, you can use more quick setting toggles for ease of use and even change your lock screen shortcuts to any other app that you like. Next up is lockdown mode. The truth is phone security systems can be easily bypassed. For example, face unlock. Also suppose you're sleeping on the couch and your sibling uses your fingerprint to unlock your phone and checks your private messages discreetly. Here comes lockdown mode. To enable lockdown mode, go to security and lock screen, then go to lock screen preferences and there you'll find show lockdown option. Just enable it. Then go back to your home screen and long press the power button and there you'll find lockdown. Now next time when you try to unlock your smartphone using your face unlock or fingerprint, your phone will not unlock. You have to manually enter your PIN or another lock screen password like pattern to unlock your device. This is a hidden feature that worth using. Lock apps in memory. It might happen that when you are clearing an app from the background, you might accidentally clear an app that you are using, like a gaming app, cause you'll lose your gaming progress. I know, it can be really frustrating. Now almost all skins like Oxygen OS, Samsung One UI, Mi UI, etc. includes locking apps in the background functionality. To lock apps in the background, just open your overview menu, select the app that you want to lock, click on the three dot menu and click on lock. And next time, you won't be able to clear it from memory. It's a handy feature. For people using older phones with less RAM, you can increase your device performance in another way. That's by limiting the background process. Go to developer options and scroll down to background process limit. Click on it and they will see various options. I recommend to choose at most three processes. You can also choose no background processes but that will kill every app in memory. Now you'll notice significantly better performance on your device. This is a very useful feature. In Android Pie, there's a very cool feature that provides you a large on-screen menu to control your phone at the click of a button. And that button is located in your navigation bar, that human beside the overview button. It was originally made for the visually impaired, but it is very useful for everyone. You can easily take a screenshot by clicking this button. You can even access Google Assistant, enable quick settings, check your notifications, and much more. To enable this feature, 
just go to your settings then system click on accessibility and they'll find an option called accessibility menu click on it and make sure it is turned on and next time you'll see this human and you can access the feature instantly it's very useful next up is notification channels Android has an amazing feature that helps you control your notifications for example suppose you get a ton of notifications from the app Paytm it might include authentic and useful notifications like purchase or payment etc but it also includes spammy marketing notifications and that can be quite annoying now you can channel your notification and turn those individual notifications off that you don't like to do that go to your settings then click on apps and notifications and then click on the app that you want to control the notifications for i'll choose paytm and then click on notifications and there you can see there are many categories from otp to miscellaneous to smart notifications now you can choose what you want you can also go and choose for whatsapp you can disable group notifications or chat history backup it depends on you this smart feature can be a boon to every android user did you know you can turn off your hotspot automatically when it's not in use in android you can use a settings to turn off your wi-fi hotspot automatically when nobody is using it and thus it can improve your battery life go to wi-fi and internet and then go to hotspot and tethering your wi-fi hotspot click on it and they'll see an option to turn off hotspot automatically just click on it to enable it and next time when nobody is using your wi-fi for more than five minutes or so the system will automatically turn off your wi-fi hotspot and thus save your battery life these are some of the hidden android features that i find useful if you know some cool hidden features do let me know in the comment section below so guys if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button below do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel until then i'll see you again in my next video thanks for watching